Nairobi Safari Walk is a wildlife reserve in a nutshell. The difference between the two is at the reserve you'll do a drive but at the safari walk you will watch game while on foot. Let's do this. The Nairobi Safari Walk came into being in the year 2000 for educational purposes and better nature experience to would-be visitors. Mary Chege, a naturalist at the Safari Walk, says the habitat is home to several wild animals, including members of the Big Five. Which animal do you think made this footprint? I should ask you this, before you enter the facility or even after as you get out of the facility to actually help you even in getting more interested in, uh, in wildlife. But the answer is underneath. So when I open this flap, I'm able to get the answer. With a combination of three simulated forests, wetlands and savannas, visitors have an opportunity to learn about these valuable resources and how they can contribute to its conservation. The first wildlife to sport would probably be this pretty pygmy hippo, a gift from the Liberian former president to Kenya's first president, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Is actually like part of the third generation. I mean, since then, we can't have, still have the original one. Although their lifespan is about 40 years, so they die at about 40 years, maybe to 50 in captivity. So it's a very special animal. And you find that uh, it, the reason that it's called a pygmy hippo is because it's actually smaller in size than the normal. The Kenyan species is nine hippopotamus. Most of the wildlife, if not all, are orphans. They were brought up from the animal orphanage before being released to this 27-acre piece of land, seven kilometers south of the capital, to probably give them life experience in a natural habitat. Meet Dubai, a white rhino at the safari walk. Dubai got his name from one of the visitors while still at the orphanage. He is described as a friendly animal. This is also home to a collection of cats, Columbus monkeys, albino zebra, Maasai ostriches, and 150 species of local trees. With its raised wooden boardwalk that allows for uninterrupted views of the animals, the safari walk arguably brings out what you would experience in the country's national parks and reserves. When you think that you might have to travel many, many miles to go and see the animals that you find here, and also not everybody has a car to be able to access the park. So they're able to come here on a walk, as the name suggests, Nanabari Safari Walk. It's awesome uh, with the close view to, every, to the animals. The Nairobi Safari Walk also prides in wide variety of birds and insects. The boardwalk is surrounded by several species of trees, ideal for educational purposes. When we look around, you will agree with me that this is the best spot for viewing of Safari Walk, whereby you are able to sample a number of animals at the same time, and this is supported by the river that is just several meters from here and the animals normally come to quench their thirst from that point and with that wraps up your visit to this part of Kenya. Irene Mchuma Odim, magical scenes at the safari walk in the county of Nairobi. Mm -hmm.